Hey guys, welcome to Torque Wagon. Today we're helping make a spring for the Suburban. And me and my sister are helping. So you can probably tell this is a junkyard part. And sometimes when you get junkyard parts, things break. On this particular part, the clutch return spring broke when I was putting together the assembly after shipping. So this is the pedal assembly to convert my Suburban to a manual transmission. I looked everywhere to try and find a replacement spring and couldn't find one. So today we're gonna make one. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh! It's a speed bit. That doesn't look like it fits. Once we get it out. Right now I'm putting the spring in there to hold down the spring. We're using spring steel here. We're going to use about three feet to start off with just to be safe. Well, yeah, so what he's doing is he's cutting the, the wire stuff. And, yeah. Sorry. If I can. <laughs> I don't think side cuts are the right tool for this. You need bigger pliers? Nope, we're good. Wait. So what we got here, since I don't have a vise set up in my garage right now, this is a piece of one inch pipe set up as a mandrel. I've got a bolt above it. And we're going to hold the spring steel down with the bolt, wrap it around the mandrel. I've got the broken spring right here as a reference. We're gonna look at this to determine which direction we're gonna wrap the spring around the mandrel. So it's broken, obviously, but I can put it back together pretty simply. And we've got the shape and the number of wraps and we can figure out which direction it's going. So if I'm, if I'm going this way, it's gonna be wrapping counterclockwise or left hand wrap around the mandrel. Okay, so what you need to do here, is you see how this is going at an angle around here? This is our mandrel. So I We're gonna pull it. this and keep it tight and wrap it around the mandrel. Okay. Oh, this is hard to bend. Yep, keep it tight. I'm gonna help a little bit, okay? okay. All right. Some thick metal. All right, B, come here. You're gonna keep pulling tight on this, or you're gonna keep wrapping it around, okay? Can you do it. So as you can see, my first attempt ended up being way too big. It probably still work, but I want to see if I can get a tighter wrap. So. I'm either going to have to wrap it harder or find a smaller mandrel. I think I'm going to look for a smaller mandrel. Okay, we're going to try this again with a much smaller mandrel. I'm going to try and get a tighter wind too. It's gonna be much closer to what we want. Now I just need to mess with the end pieces, do some bending with some pliers, see if I can get the shape I want for the end pieces. So here's our final product with the spring. 
I bent it with some pliers. I'm not sure if it's perfect just yet. It might need to be a little bit shorter uh, to give us the spring back that I want, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna install it, show you guys how, we're, how I'm doing that, and then uh, I'm just gonna use a couple of 11 16 wrenches to install this uh, in the pedal assembly. Here we go. It's in there, might need some adjustment, but it's in there for now. So this is the final product on the spring. I actually ended up going back with the first spring I made that I thought was too big. Because I made the smaller one too short and it eventually didn't work. I figured out how to get this hooked up. And it actually does pull the pedal back a little bit. I'm sure most of the pedal tension will be uh, coming from the push rod on the master cylinder anyway, but this is just to get it back in place. So it should work out good. Let's see if we can get you a shot of the pedal tension here. It brings it back. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I've got the new pedal set installed and if we can get in here, I'll show you. The clutch return spring works. There we go. The Suburban has a clutch pedal now. Hope you liked the video. Tune in next time.